You may be asked to construct the triangle using ruler, compasses, and protractor. Um, in some cases, it'll only be a protractor and a ruler. So the first example, the first type, is a side angle side triangle. This is one in which you're given a side, you're given an angle, and another side. So you're basically given two sides and what we call the included angle between those two sides. To draw the triangle here accurately, because it's only a sketch on the screen, the first thing we'd want to do is to draw accurately the line AB. So let me get my ruler. And I'm going to draw a 5 centimeter line for AB accurately. Let's move this a little bit out of the way. So that's going to go 5 centimeters from A to B. That is there. What I'm going to do now is measure the angle 40 degrees or draw it using a protractor. And I'm going to go above AB. So I'm going to put the center of the protractor on A and I'm going to mark 40 degrees above this using a pencil. So just try to be as neat as we can. So remember we're starting on the outside, we're starting on the inside, we stay on the inside because we're going anti-clockwise. 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm going to mark my 40 degrees as neat as I can. And what I'm going to do then is draw a straight line, which is four centimeters long through A and through the point that I've just drawn. So I'm going to angle my ruler up to the point that I've just drawn on 40 degrees. And I'm going to now draw four centimeters above A. I'm now going to join B and C and I will have my completed triangle drawn accurately. And lastly, I'm going to label the triangle. So it's A, B, C. This is 40 degrees. We know this is 4 centimeters AC. And we know that AB is 5 centimeters. Here are some questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. I'd like you to accurately draw each of these triangles using a pencil and protractor and a ruler. Pause the video now and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Okay, if you have your accurate drawings, you should have these measurements on yours. So when you measure the missing side of the first triangle, it should be 7.6 centimeters. In the second one, the missing side should be 6.7 centimeters. In the third one, you should have a missing side of 9 centimeters. And in the last one, you should have a missing side of uh, 4.6 centimeters for AB and for BC, 4.2 centimeters. The second kind of triangle you may have to construct is an ASA triangle. This is where you have an angle. Uh, you've got two angles and you have a side which joins the two angles but uh, we don't have the included angle okay so you only have one side this time and two angles which are opposite to each other so if we want to construct the triangle PQR what I would do here so I'm just going to move this we start the same way as before by drawing a line PQ which is 4.5 centimeters So let's do that now. So I'm going to have 4.5 centimeters for PQ. What I do now is I get my protractor and I'm going to draw one of the angles. 
So if I go to P, and I'm going to draw the 38 degree angle above the line PQ. And we just need to basically draw a straight line at 38 degrees and then carry it on. So again, we're going anti-clockwise. We uh, are on the inside, so we stay on the inside. 5, 6, 8, 7, 8 is here. What I'm going to do now is draw a straight line through P and through the point that I've just drawn. And that straight line just needs to carry on. So like that. I'm now going to do the same thing above PQ. This time I'm going to go to Q and draw my angle of 70 degrees. So this time I'm going clockwise, so I'm going to start on the outside, stay on the outside, go to 70, move my protractor, and I'm going to draw a straight line through Q, which is the right corner, and also through the point that I've just drawn. And I'm going to carry it on. There we go. Now the point is, where the lines meet is going to be R. So to label the triangle we have P, Q and R is here. We have 38 degrees, 70 degrees, and 4.5 centimeters here. I'm going to leave the extended lines in place because that serves as my workings out. Here are some questions for you to try. I'd like you to make accurate drawings of each of these triangles. And then once you've done that, I'd like you to measure the length of YZ in each case. And you can use that to check your answers. So please have a go at the, have a go at the questions now. And when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. If you have these lengths or thereabouts, you, sh you can be confident that you've drawn the triangles accurately. You might be asked to construct a triangle where you're only given the sides or the side lengths. In this case, we need to use a compass or a pair of compasses. So what I'm going to do first, as before, is draw the line AC. So I want to sketch this, I want to draw accurately the triangle ABC. Going to first of all draw accurately AC, so that's six centimeters. Like that. What I'm going to do now is get a, uh, get a compass. So I'm going to get my pair of compasses. Um, here we go. And what I'm going to do is open it up to five centimeters, basically. This is going to help us draw AB. So I'm going to open it up to five centimeters. So I'll just put my ruler here. I want the point of the protractor on zero, not protractor, sorry, compass. And I'm going to open up the compass to six, uh, five centimeters. As neat as we can. Then what I'm going to do is put the point of the compass on A, or what I've drawn as A on my on my drawing, and I'm now going to draw an arc. There we go, but that should be fine. So a fairly big arc, and there we go. What I'm going to do now is open my protractor up to six centimeters because now I'm going to try and uh, basically have the guideline for BC. So I'm going to open up my protractor to six centimeters. So let's put the point on zero and let's open it up to six centimeters. There we go. And I'm now going to put my compass point on C and draw an arc. There we go. And where those two points meet, that is point B. 
So where the two arcs meet, that's point B, sorry. And all I need, all I need to do now is join where the two arcs meet to A and to C. And I need to leave the arcs in place. Those are my construction lines and they serve as my workings. So I can now label this. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is five centimeters, six centimeters and six centimeters. And we can now use, we can now measure any of the angles inside accurately and they will be correct. Here are some questions for you to try. I'd like you to draw these triangles accurately using a ruler and compasses, ruler and pair of compasses. Uh, once you've drawn them accurately, in each case, if you could measure the angle ABC, so that's the angle here. Let me get a pen. That is this angle here in each case. Then you can use that to check your answers. So please pause the video now, have a go at the questions, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. So these are the angles you should have for um, angle ABC in each case. And if you do, you can be quite confident that you sketch them correctly. The last kind of triangle that you may need, this, may need to draw accurately is one where you have two sides and the non-included angle. And in this case, you need to use a compass as well as a protractor. So if I want to sketch the triangle, if I want to draw accurately, sorry, the triangle X, Y, Z, what I need to do first is um, accurately draw the base side, which is XZ, so that is five centimeters. So from zero to five, like that. Now I need to use a compass, not a, not a compass, a protractor to draw the angle above XZ, which is 72 degrees, the one that I know. So I'm going to put my protractor on Z, and I'm going to um, measure up to 72 degrees, and I'm going to draw a little dot. So oh, a little bit too far to the right, 70. There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is draw a straight line through Z and the dot that I've just drawn. like that, again carrying it on a little bit. And now I'm going to get my track, uh, my compass, my pair of compasses, and I'm going to open them up to seven centimeters because that is the length of the other side. So I'm gonna put the point of the compass on zero and I'm gonna put the um, pencil on seven. So I've opened it up to seven centimeters now. And I'm going to put the point of my compass on X and I'm going to draw an arc. Where the arc and the line meet, that is going to be the point Y. So all I need to do now is join up X to the point of intersection of the line and the arc, which is Y. And I will be finished with my drawing. There we go, and I'm going to leave all of the lines and the arcs as my work ends, and I'm going to label the triangle. So we have X, Y, and Z. This is 72 degrees. This is 7 centimeters, and this is 5 centimeters. Okay. Here are two questions for you to try. I'd like you to draw these triangles accurately and then in order to check your answers if you could measure the length of yz in each case uh, of sorry of yx in each case um, no that's no good for the first one if you could measure yx and in the second one if you could measure yz that will allow you to check your answers please pause the video now and have a go and when you're ready for the answers press play here are the answers you should approximately have x, y as 3.18 centimeters or about 3.2 and y, z at about 6.75 centimeters or about 